So TikTok has finally heard our concerns about children being served up content that is either inappropriate or disturbing. So they're coming out with a few things to help us. Hey, I'm Cyber Farida. I'm an award-winning Forbes 30 under 30 internet safety expert, and my entire channel is all about how you can holistically protect your kids online. That means looking at the big picture and not looking so much at all the nitty gritty details and am I tech savvy, am I enough, you know, all the type of things. And I love to keep you updated about what's going on in the safety world. So let's dive into all of the features that TikTok is adding for your child's safety. The first is a new tool to customize the content that you or your children see while you're scrolling through TikTok. So that means that you can automatically filter out certain words like key phrases, keywords, or hashtags that you do not want to see that is connected to a certain type of content or videos you do not want to see on your for you page or even on your following feed and according to tiktok this feature should be available within the next coming weeks we're on july 22nd now so we we'll probably see it sometime late august now tiktok explained a little bit more about how this tool works and i'm going to read it to you Last year, we began testing ways to avoid recommending a series of similar content on topics that may be fine as a single video, but potentially problematic if viewed repeatedly, such as topics related to dieting or extreme fitness, sadness, and other well-being topics. The next feature is something that we're all familiar with. It is called content levels, meaning that the content is going to be leveled depending on the person's maturity or their age. This is helping prevent content that are mature in nature for audiences that are under 13 years old. So if they believe or they know that you're under 13 years old that you will not be served certain content i love these updates in general this signals us moving forward into more safety for children on tiktok we have a long way to go but every single step that we take actually counts nothing will be perfect especially because we have to think about how are the age of the audience going to be determined is it going to be correct there's going to be a lot of false positives false negatives whatever it is it's going to be interesting to see it all roll out but i'm very happy that we're putting some steps in place to have better protection for kids on tiktok that being said i would love to to know what you think about the changes do you think that it's enough changes do you think you need to add a little bit more what are some suggestions that you give to tiktok to better their safety for children so i'd love to know what you think in the comments below if this video was valuable leave a thumbs up so that more parents can see this video and they can learn all of the safety features available for them in the tiktok app now if you're worried about your kids safety online especially on these social media platforms and you don't want them to be destroyed by social media destroyed mentally physically emotionally spiritually by social media because all of those are true so many children are destroyed by social media then click the video that's on the screen right now